black belt business coach giving stress the karate chop. And here today we have Dave Gregson I'm going to be talking about the important subject of bullying in the workplace. So Dave, tell me a bit about uh, your background and your situation. Okay. Yes, thank you very much once again for the opportunity of speaking about the books, reviews, and also talking about this this subject here. When we talk about workplace bullying, we talk about bullying, um, all bullying stems from power somewhere, power and abuse. I mean, many, I mean, well, it can happen in schools. It, it, it can happen within workplaces. Now, my own personal experiences were that towards the end of my time in the health and um, social care, that, well, when there was a change of management, movement of um, staff, I was and I was targeted, and that was partly because I had raised concerns about the conduct of individuals within the organisation. Now, when we talk about bullying, I would put it down as a safeguarding well-being issue. We, the problem presently is there's no specific laws against workplace bullying that hopefully will change because the motion obviously has gone to parliament to be heard again this um, july there are laws around equality and and rightly so but bullying itself is it is rarely one thing it, it is often a pattern of events and when i i experienced and was first involved with this there was not as much talk about workplace bullying. Um, tactics used, such as gaslighting, exclusion, gossip, both. And it was difficult to know where to go. It was almost like, um, a bit like in an abusive relationship. That's what I liken workplace abuse to, same as domestic abuse. It can happen in any environment, any gender, um, any relationship um so i did actually i was diagnosed as autistic and i was dismissed under the capability back in uh, 2018 that was the reason given um now i did later win a tribunal case in 2020 it was a very long case it went on for 15 months and i won the case and they found that um i had done nothing wrong in the workplace. I, I was not responsible for my dismissal and they acted entirely unreasonably and there was no mitigation for their, their actions with that. So on the back of that, in 2020, I started some voluntary campaign work on with several organisations, groups, and one of the missions was to raise awareness around workplace bullying and campaign for hopefully a change to legislation so such practices can be outlawed in much the same way as legislation had to come into force around domestic abuse and controlling behavior where previously there were gray areas um, and i've worked with many friends um strategic partners with that i um did run a cic and i gave presentations i also as part of that focused on autism awareness in the workplace i gave taster modules and webinars with that since the cic ceased functioning through a variety of reasons including personal circumstances my caring duties for my parents increased yeah thank you yeah i i combined that with the writing so that's what it is now. The day works and rights and important to import for the importance of working with others on shared goals. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Dave. Well, um, thank now, you. Actually. What type of impact did bullying have on, on your life and, and others that you know? Uh, you know how uh, how does that change people's behaviour and, and their well being? Well, it's um, the workplace bullying. It, itself had a big impact on my well-being my mental well-being and physical well-being which as we know are very closely linked because for long periods 
in the workplace. I was made to feel I, I wasn't wanted, even though I was doing the job well. There was constant criticism. There was I was excluded from social events. I was spent long periods out of contact, garden leave. I was suspended for a long time. They couldn't find anything wrong. So, but I was excluded. So there was no support from work colleagues. Occupational health was not very effective because that w was governed by what the individual managers said and not what 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 I said. So I became isolated and that impacted mental health well-being and it also gave stress to those I care for too because it sort of made me feel that well these things must be my fault I must be not wanted so it does have a devastating impact unfortunately I was able to come through that overcome despite that but workplace bullying like that um, impacts on the person and has a ripple effect on those around them and it it without a doubt puts people's health and well-being at risk and with workplace bullying i would say it isn't a difference of opinion it isn't we're not talking people wrongdoing at work um uh, um disciplinary pr procedures people are targeted because they are seen as a threat. One, a bully's biggest fear is the fear of exposure. And in this case, that exposure, including exposing the incompetence and the wrongdoing. And because it was a large charity, sadly, there was more opportunity to cover that up. So it also led me to... Um, want want it it gave me a as i suppose determination to want to make a difference to others um but make no mistake um workplace bullying does exist and it can happen when there are no protected characteristics involved and that's the gray area at present so hence my involvement with campaigning with conduct change as an ambassador and with other organisations to speak about this. It can happen in any environment and it can happen in any workplace. There are good examples and there are bad examples, but in order to praise good workplace practice, we must call out the bad practice. So Interesting. thank you very much, Raj, for giving me that opportunity. Yeah, so why do you think people, <clears throat> excuse me, why do you think people bully? Well, people bully for I suppose there's several reasons why people do bully. It is out of um sometimes it is to cover up their own failings or their own wrongdoing. Um sometimes it is the uh the enjoyment of being in a position of power over others and being able to intimidate and thinking that the way to make their star shine is to extinguish others. And some bully to... Um, some bully because, well... In some cases, they enjoy the the bullying, inflicting harm on others, and some bully for coercive tactics such as financial gain, exploitation, and and self advantage. Some people use bullying almost as a way to advance them themselves, and as a way they see to achieve what they want, things they wouldn't achieve with proper methods, they can see bullying as a way to achieve it.
yeah, thank you. yeah. Thank you for sharing that. It's obviously uh, you, right. bullying for different reasons, um, you know, yeah. in, own insecurities. You talk about power shift, uh, trying to coerce individuals yeah. as well. So what advice would you give um, to someone who's experiencing bullying at the moment? Uh, they're struggling, they're not getting support internally from the organisation. Um, are there people to go to uh, to get, get advice on uh, workplace bullying? Yes, absolutely. Um, if you are experiencing this, then there's a case that it, seeking help from the workplace and HR may not be practical because sometimes they can be part of the problem, the people doing the, the bullying with that. The most important thing is to talk about it. it uh, uh, if friends, it could be GP. Um, there are organisations such as Bullies Out, um, Conduct Change Foundation that have people who are involved with this work um, if they can't. I would advise that people can, if they wish, speak confidentially with ACAS. They can book a citizen's advice appointment. They can also ring the... Um, there, there are people who will always listen, such as the Samaritans with that. And there are those that are involved with workplace bullying where people can look and find these these resources with that. Thank you, Dave, for firstly yeah. sharing your story. There's information sometimes with that that by finding that might help, and there are people to, to talk to with that. So, um, so it's important to reach out and to talk to. Them. It's important to reach out. People do know what it is now, just like with domestic abuse. Um, um, the charity victim support now have a section on this that, and such as that and there are the, those involved who want to but the first thing is just do talk about it and also that it isn't just you such as gaslighting is a tactic used by criminals scammers abusers workplaces Gaslighting originates from a 1940 film, a 1940 film where the the husband was convincing the wife, tried to convince the wife she was insane by turning on and off the gaslights and then saying that she was imagining it. So gaslighting does it's it it's intended to doubt people's self worth views. So it is a tactic. There are people who want to listen. So thank you very much, Raj. Thank um, you, Dave Gregson, for sharing your history and your story about bullying in the workplace. I'm sure it'll make a big difference to people out there. By all means, get in touch with me or Dave Gregson if you want to talk further about this subject. We'll 